Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the brand new world of Crusader Kings 2. When I say brand new world, uh, it's because on the start of the 769 start date, um, you can see they've added a lot of different holdings, small little counties and such. I mean, not only it's the steps that's changed, but also up there, Scandinavia, the British Isles, and even in most of Europe as well as don't forget Africa <laughs> and I know there are many people doing playthroughs as either Africa or some as New England uh, not saying New England USA I'm talking about new newer England with all the little counties and duchies or some as um, the Norse or even perhaps Finnish or Baltic or even Byzantine if they try to restore um, Hellenism as well as the uh, Roman Empire. I mean there's a lot of opportunities that they've done because they have released the newest DLC Holy Fury not too long ago which was a couple of weeks ago but this time I'm gonna be playing a slightly different uh, playthrough in a sense where I'm going to say yes it's Slavic culture because I have a preference for Slavic culture due to my personal knowledge of them but it's also uh... <coughs> look I was looking for okay which one of these playthroughs that nobody has done yet for Crusader Kings or has anybody done a video on it or at least in, during this newest DLC and I thought well why not Bosnia <laughs> yeah I will be the first of the Bosnian culture under the reign of Vladislav of Donia Krai, which I'll change the capital in a moment. There's another place that they've added which is intriguing in itself. Iceland, which is under a Prince Bishopric held by the Irish and that's prior to Norse colonization of Iceland which will happen later on in the Viking Age. But let's not concern about the world as much as we concern about here locally. Let me zoom in. Here we are. Although Bosnia is, uh, is currently under the control by the Kingdom of Serbia. Uh, held by King Vojislav of Serbia. Well, I wouldn't say held because he doesn't personally hold all these counties. I personally hold these counties. This is a newly created character through ruler designer. Again, Chief Vojislav of Donia Kraj which uh, he's a brilliant strategist, aggressive leader, legitimized bastard, quick, lustful, deceitful, cynical, stubborn, and wounded. One would think, how do you got wounded? Oh, it's just the thing I picked off on the, uh, on the ruler designer. I picked some bad traits just to reduce the age, so I started off as 25 years old. And plus this, uh, I plus my opinion on the king, I don't like him because one, short reign, and two, I want to be on the council, damn it. Plus my first act is move the capital to Verbosna and make it as a primary title, which I am the chief of Verbosna. And the reason for that is on the culture side of things, again, here's Serbian here, Croatian over there. But there is one county here that is actually Bosnian. So I thought, okay, let's make our capital over here in Verbosna, which is where um, Visoko is, as which is near modern-day Sarajevo, the modern capital of Bosnia-Herzegovina today. So my goal for this series early on is to get enough strength of the levy of the levy size bigger than Serbia's and fight for independence take those two other kingdom kingdoms counties to make it a duchy where I would hold two duchies of Bosnia and whom Zahumia in its language and create the kingdom of Bosnia which is something you could do if you are of a Bosnian culture they added a couple of newer kingdoms which I show you it's like yeah they're still there there's also Corinthia, Europus, Greece, Greece, and a lot more numerous ones out there. And don't forget the African ones too. And 
As for de jure empires, there are those. <coughs> they even reduced the size of Russia, which they used to expand all the way out there, but um, they made some changes of that. So there you have it. <laughs> and another strange thing is like, yeah, I showed you the Croats and the Serbs out here. And look down there. This, in the older games, this used to be part of the Byzantine Empire. But now, it's Kingdom of Europus, which is under control of King Mislav, who is of a Serbian origin. They're trying to reflect on... What do you mean they're trying? It, it is what it is. That Serbian tribes actually raided and conquered parts of Greece. All the way down there in the Peloponnese. But right now, he's a tributary state to both Serbia and the Byzantine Empire. And before I get things started, there's a few things I need to show you before we get this series going. Okay, here are the rules, because you know you gotta have rules in this game. I set it to historical for the bubonic plague, so we don't have to worry about it early on in the in this series, uh, assumingly if I'm still doing it all the way by then. We generate families, which most landed historical characters with no recorded family will have a spouse and up to four children generated for them upon starting a new game. This reduces the risk of an early game over. Well, since I created this character and I have no heir, but um, I'll get to the family part in a moment. And exclave independence will be limited, I've chosen. Exclaves of independent rulers at peace will be removed on succession unless they're connected to the capital area by at least one county via a naval path or part of a character's de jure territory. They added that feature because uh, they want to reduce what they call border gore. Like just picture Italy right here, but a bunch of messy independent duchies and counties that aren't even connected to the kingdom itself. Nobody wants that. I turn on Shatter Retreat because I want to make it challenging this time. Because uh, most of my places I always have it off, which makes it easier. But now I want to challenge myself. Like if I lose and we go back home, and it gets a little hard from here. Now, our army movement lock is another added feature. When an army is moved halfway into the county, the order will be locked and can no longer be cancelled. While movement is locked, you can still cancel further orders or queue up additional orders. So I have to take it slow whenever I'm waging wars of moving the troops. You gotta have absurd events, you know, stuff like glitter hoop or immortality and other ridiculousness. Let's see. Everything seems to be in order. <coughs> oh yes, the, with the Holy Fury, the Crusades that they had. There are Crusader States. There's Shepherd's Crusades. The Fourth Crusade, which can actually happen if the Republic of Venice is still around by then. Which they would fight to grab Constantinople. Yeah, there's a Children's Crusade. If if the Crusaders somehow lost the, the war or they went to a different attended target, like say, like they originally want to go to Jerusalem, but instead the guy chose over here in Spain. And speaking of Spain, the Reconquista is enabled. But at that time, the 7th, 6th, and started, I don't know if, if this would go their way. Northern Crusade, it's also for later on, which is for, you know, the upper Slavic, Romovan, and Semenisko, and Germanic to some extent. I turn off the Child of Destiny, which is like uh, a great conqueror would spawn, you know, someone to emulate Alexander Great's conquest. Not from Greece to Persia, but anywhere. Because the last time when I did a playthrough prior to recording, it screwed up the whole world in a way. Let's just say there was this guy from Avaria, and he went all the way to England and conquered all of it. And then to make matters worse, the Tengri faith was reformed, and we got screwed by both sides. When I say we, I mean Catholics. <laughs> and you'll see some martial headgear and blood spatter and a Hellenic revival, which I won't do that because I'm Bosnian, not Greek. There you have it. <laughs> That's all the rules for now. And, uh, and there are many more features that I will show you as this series progresses. 
Oh, I forgot. One last but pretty interesting feature. Oh, before we get him. Before we continue. Bloodlines. Legendary bloodlines. As you can see, there are living descents of of this bloodline. Uh, such as uh, this one, for example. Founded by Carl the Hammer of Paris. Carlingian blood. A brilliant warrior as well as great statesman, he established the Franks as the undisputed masters of Gaul and led the army to defeat the Muslims in the Battle of Tours. These are the bonuses that you could get um, if uh, you were to be playing as those guys over there or married into them. Plus, it's a per <coughs> patrilineal inheritance, which is passed on through the male line. It's also matrilineal transfer. And it's currently active because there's a lot of descendants uh, with that bloodline, including uh, King Carl of, uh, well, you know, West Francia. And, and Carl Man of the Middle. Those two brothers over there. Not my brothers, but, he, well, you know. I ain't got no bloodline, and neither does the Serbs. But hold on, let me control left click. There you go. So now you know who's actually holding or running what. The king holds these three counties here. His, uh, that's his, uh, son, right? Yes, his son holds those three, while I hold four. All of the de jure high chiefdom of Bosnia. But I don't have the high chief to Bosnia yet. When I say yet, I mean you gotta create the title, you just gotta raise the money, unless the king does it for me in good faith. So, let's get this started. I need to find somebody to marry and bring three concubines in. Has to be with women who are not married, not married, and of my religion, Slavic. Okay, here's one. That's going to be the person I'm married to. Because she's attractive. Which one would think apparently the most beautiful woman in the Slavic world is happens to be a bohemian named Dubravka. And now go find concubines. Pomeranian named Iwa. Because she's strong. So it's possible that some of my children could be born attractive. Some could be born strong. And since I'm quick, some could be born quick. Oh, here's another strong one. Another Bohemia. Prebislava. Okay, that's all. Who's got the highest stewardship with that particular education for more fertility? Kena Polish. So here you go. <laughs> and now the council. Actually, that guy can be suited as spy master. There's a Rion, which, uh, intricate web weaver, and he's also an impaler. <laughs> which one would think is, yeah, why on earth would you be friends with him? Actually, that guy can be a steward. Or is it that guy? I don't know, he's multi talented. Okay, he can be the marshal. Well, I guess this guy can be uh, chancellor, and my court chaplain will be him. But since he's a mystic, I mean, I saw that trait. That means he can be a court physician. It doesn't have to be somebody with a learning skill of 15 all the time, but it has to be with 10 along with... He's got to be a mystic, a scholar, renowned physician, or mutazalite, which is a, a Muslim thing. Don't have to worry about that. We're Slavic pagans. And knowing that there's a spy master who doesn't like me, which which I'm sure as hell that if you got a spy master who doesn't like you, you are liable to be assassinated. So I gotta get this guy to like me already. He could be the designated regent, cupbearer, champion, 
And finally, Master of the Blade. You can't have Master of the Blade and Bow at the same time. Can't do that. And he's going to be scheming for me because, again, plot discovery chance. Because I don't want to be assassinated right off the bat in this game. Otherwise, it would defeat the purpose of having this series. Got to build a legend because we need more prestige. So I could spend some prestige to create uh, military structures to increase our levy size. And speaking of levy size, that's what he's going to do for me. The marshal will be training troops. And I think all those bases are covered. Now I just got to switch my focus towards war because I'm all about combat skill and martial. Yeah, I would like to be on the council again. Put me in the council! Oh yes, worship the ancestors. It's the last thing we're gonna do before we actually get going. I decided to visit the, the shrine in the Holy Grove and make a sacrifice in the honor of my ancestors. Hoping for their aid in return. What will I ask my forefathers? What forefathers? I'm a legitimized bastard. I have no parents or known documented parents. Again, through ruler designer. I always start off with legitimized bastard, because why not? You ain't got your parents. You just happen to be the chieftain of the chief of Bosnia. So guide my sword in battle and let me conquer my enemies, because I have a high martial skill and I know what to do with it. Because I'm going to a new society, a warrior lodge called the Champions of Peru. The valiant Champions of Peru, the Slavic God of Thunder, strive to uphold an ideal honor and guard their fellow men and women from wrongdoing. Their families are known to hang protective symbols of arrows and bolts by their houses to grant heroes luck on the battlefield and shield them from storms. And before I join, there are 23 members so far. 10 fledglings, 6 warriors, 4 veterans, and 3 heroes. And these are the heroes. Miroslav of Neopatra, down in Greece. And Boyan, the commander of Chorvatia, that's white Croatia. And Chief Svetislav of Mithon, also down in Greece, and the Marshal of Nervous. Also, they removed the influence uh, feature, which is, you know, what's the point? Successful missions, failed missions, uh, how many people are there? It's whatever. And to join a Warrior Lodge, you have to be an adult. You have not angered the society, as in, you already left or fled the initiation duel, which is something you have to do first before you be become an official member of this society. You have to be of the pagan faith, as well as have at least 10 members, has tribal or nomadic government, has a liege, vassal, or neighboring ruler who follows the same faith as you, and don't be zealous. And I'm not zealous, so here I am. Chief Svetislav Methon of the Champions of Perun greets me with a brief nod. Another recruit, huh? To join our ranks, you need to prove yourself, boy, the man says gruffly. Folding his arms across chest, <coughs> you'll be fighting one of our own. Still interested, my lord? I gladly fight to prove myself, even though I'm wounded, so I'm expecting to get my ass kicked a little, but I'll take a good ass kicking. So I agreed to duel whoever they've chosen for me, so it'll happen in a few game days. Okay, anything else missing before we get on with it? Don't care about no succession nomination because I don't have an heir and I don't care. If we don't have an heir, we don't care. <laughs> again, give in this view again so I know who's runs what. Halt. Appoint counselor. I shall be the chancellor of Serbia. And he calls me Glorious Count. Hey, my first day as chief of Verbosna, and you're already calling me Glorious. You're being too kind. There you go. So now I'm on the Legis Council, which makes me uh, a glory hound. That sounds about right, because I'm a warrior guy. The rest of them are pragmatists, and one 
Steward of Serbia is malcontent. Can't blame him. He may not be the best king in the world, but I hope he'll be reasonable. Oh, I forgot another thing about, you know, when it comes to try to sway opinions, trying to make nice of people. This new feature, swaying. Yeah, I sway and antagonize. So I will begin swaying to make him like me. Antagonizing is the opposite. You won. You wouldn't want to antagonize your old spy master, who also happens to be an impaler. Ambition's done. So now I have to groom an heir because it'll up the fertility a bit more. Combin combining with lustful. I'm likely to have children once I get married and uh, <laughs> and the concubines that I will get. Chief uh, Svetislava Mithon and the champions of Perun have chosen Shaman uh, Tarenti of Polchep as my opponent. The menacing man eyes me up and downs were introduced. Fresh meat, huh? He offers mockingly before shoving an elbow to my side and making everyone laugh. I have a personal combat skill of 26 currently. Thanks to being a brilliant strategist, quick, deceitful, stubborn, and having a war focus on, which is the main reason. I think, I think I'm going to remain the war focus my entire life. And... And this man here, who is a uh, Severian, East Slavic, he's 20, he's brave, and a hunter. Yeah, but he's a mastermind theologian because he's a shaman. A shaman who happens to be in the Champions of Peru. The fight for Gloria, the duel will take place within the next few days. I ask my ancestors for military power and prowess in battle. Now it is time to present my offering. What will I give them in return? Croatian woman named Natalia who is craven, paranoid, stubborn. Well, may this soul serve you well in the afterlife. Get 60 piety. Oh! Alright. Uh, just as I land a perfect blow to his leg, the shaman manages to smack his wooden staff uh, flat across my hand. Dizzy, I could just about make the sounds of the crown. It is not my name they are chanting. Where did I go wrong? I get wounded, which I already am wounded. I can't be wounded any further. But he got wounded too. But I get a swollen wrist, which downs my health a little bit more in the personal combat skill. So I lost the duel. So, yeah, he got lucky. Oh, yes. It's time to get married. Even though I have a swollen wrist. Imagine going to a wedding with a swollen wrist as you hold hand with your bride. Get the money. Always get the money, because you know we run on a we run on a barter system over here. The offering struggled violently when the Volva and her disciples uh, pushed it down on the offering stone. The ancestors will surely be pleased with such a vigorous servant. Now all I can do is wait and hope. May the ancestors bestow their blessing upon me, if I got any ancestors. Now to choose a. Patron deity. There are many deities who I may choose to honor. Will it be Perun, god of thunder, the fiercest of warriors? Or perhaps the, his internal nemesis, Veles, the god of the underworld. Yarilo, the springtime of the god of fertility. And Sister Morata, the wintry god of death and rebirth. Also possess mighty powers. Well, since I'm a warrior man, I pledge my axe to Perun. I would give my life to his honor. That's plus two martial and minus one entry. Perun, the god of thunder, is the highest of all the gods. He sits on top of the world tree, and where he keeps watch over the earth and the skies, his sworn enemy is Veles the serpent, who crawls up from the underworld to steal his cattle and children. On stormy nights, thunder is the sign of Perun defending us against Veles. Hope to prove myself as a worthy follower, because, well, lost the duel, initiation duel, to try to get into the uh, champions of Perun. And here comes the concubines. There we go. All of them are here. Oh, and look at me. Bloodied face, which represents you've been in in the duel. And there's a kill list. Sacrificed her to my ancestors. That's my very first kill. Uh, my steward, uh, Amir Sia, suggests him build a great monument as a display of uh, Bosna's might. Uh, while such a project would 
surely have its benefits. It would be costly and would need a great number of men to construct the monument. No, don't spend it. I'm going to need that money. And if I want prestige, well then uh, we may have to get into intervention wars. To the Honorable Count Vyslav Vlatislav of Bosna. During your initiation, your display of bravery and good attitude oppresses us all. We would gladly invite you into our ranks. Okay, I still join the society despite a loss. It's only if you, like it says, okay, do you want to join or not? And if you choose to flee, then try again later. Don't come back till, you know, you're brave enough. But after 21 days, I'm in. Start off with 100 renown and you'll get total gain based on your martial as, so, as well as certain traits, which I'm quick and stubborn. And once I get better from being wounded, Scarred will be added too. Here's what you can do as a legend. You can duel, appoint shield maidens if, if she's your sister or daughter, which you can point them as such. And a survivor, which I'm more resilient to battle injuries. Lifetime of war, when leading troops and experience gives me access to new events on the field of battle. I'll tell more of those other features a little later as I would rank up. What is the Empire doing? Oh, holy war against uh, Bulgaria. Well, once their troops leave, um, this place and that place will be good targets for raids if we want to get money. Like, great deal of money. And you want me to be a commander? Oh no, I'm currently wounded and I have a swollen wrist. I don't want to be on the front lines and get killed right off and end this game early. Low tribal organization. That's what he approved of. Ooh. Just had a little drink. Speed up a little. How many troops do I have? How much I can potentially get? Once they all leave, maybe we can get in there and raid Diodora, which is the Greek name of Zadar. Okay, <laughs> uh, the king is a bit of an oddball here. I mean, he approved, the lords approve of the low tribal organization, and now you want to go back down to Miminum? Uh, sure, I approve. I'm going to try to kiss up to him because, you know, he's a king. Uh, he's my boss. Just let him do whatever he wants, even though, even though we slightly don't like each other. Just slightly, mainly because we're foreigners. Because I'm Bosnian, he's Serbian, and that's the reason why everybody doesn't like him, because I'm a foreigner. Because I'm the first Bosnian the world has ever known. One would think this is where I come from. So I'm the first of, of the Bosnians. Again, reminder. Um, Count Rad uh, should be Chief. Uh, Chief Vladislav Tezelovic. That's the name of my dynasty I forgot. Tezelovic. Oh, hold on, what's this? To the great Count, Count Vladislav. Said Count twice. Staying idle is not in a warrior's blood. I hence invite you to aid me against my enemies. I promise to put in a good word at a lodge based on your participation, or hope you take this pristine chance to keep your wits sharp. With the hope of your support, I, Chief Dobrislav of uh, Drevelinia. Where is that at? Oh, that's a bit far from here. What war are you dealing with? Oh, a subjugation war by Vonia. Uh, which he has way more troops than you do, so... I have other matters to attend to. There I go, I, I just stuttered. As if I just gained a stutter trait right off the bat. Yeah, other matters to attend to, as in... 
sit here, do nothing for at least a few more months before I raise troops and we start raiding here in uh, this part of Dalmatia. I say that because there's such thing as Dalmatian culture and you've read my mind. Rumors that our great spoils are waiting behind the walls of Sebnik. Shebnik, I remember, that's what the accent. We're waiting to be conquered by uh, any daring raider with enough grit and ambition. I assume I need to say nothing more. Well, get ready, because I'm going to steal your wife and kids for this. I accept. Salute. Rally here in the Bosna. We may not be much, but it's our baptism of fire. We're not. Uh, expect no resistance because the Byzantines have already left to fight against the Bulgars. So we're just gonna waltz in there and raid the place. Oh, yeah, another thing. It says ruler presence. So you know that the ruler is personally leading troops, which ups the morale of armies. You can see that in other people's armies. Such as the Byzantines, which he's out there somewhere. Well, he's up in Georgia. There's another war which he's assisting, interestingly enough. Can't besiege right now? Okay, now we can siege. We got enough troops. And Croatia, what's going on? Lombard, holy war for Croatia. Oh, hell. Okay, you know what? After we raid. This particular barony, you don't raid the rest. We have to help out our Croatian brethren soon. Which I will be glad to offer to join you. Remember I mentioned about baptism of fire? Well, let's help out our Croatian brethren. Honorable Count. No, he's got nothing else. But he's got the Iron Crown of Lombardy, which that's been around as always um, for the artifacts. Oh, another reminder. I am not using any mods for this playthrough, so don't worry about artifact stealing or stuff like that. Because all the mods that I tended to use in this series are not yet compatible. I'm still waiting for those, but I, but I will have to wait for some other time. But we'll do this Bosnian playthrough without any mods at all. Because I think it, think we can do some of it without it. My concubine is pregnant, but I was away, wasn't I? Well, I am away. I'm over here, raiding. Okay, Serbia will join, and so will um, Moravia, Zahumia, in addition to myself. How many troops does Lombardy have? 3,000. So there's a uh, 1,000 of them, 1,000 of us, and a 1,000 of his more. We can beat them. If only Slavonians, which they have a ruler, Sanulat Strongarm. They call him Strongarm because he's a member of the Chambers of Peru, and I guess he must have won arm wrestling contests. Yes, there is arm wrestling. And so there is drinking contest and uh, flighting, which is basically just who is the insult master? I can't put it in better words. Cannot be the father. Did someone seduce you? Doesn't look like it. I trust her word. Look, I will help you soon. No matter what happens, don't get yourselves killed by the Lombard. Wait a minute. We stopped raiding. Oh, it's because of my tributary. Well, my my liege joined up with the Byzantines. Okay, go with them. Link up with the Croatian army, and I assume they'll be helping the Croats instead of helping their. Southern Serbian brethren, which apparently they're having a, a war of tyranny against them. Whatever he ever did. 
And he has seduction focus, and I doubt that's the cause of it. I'm sure it's some of his unjust wounds. War check. Is he arbitrary? Well, he's cruel, and I can understand it. Cruel, wrathful, gluttonous, and craven. Very well. Remember, I'm still wounded and I haven't fully recovered, so... Stop here. After giving advice on a delicate matter, the courtier asked me to accept a small gift of gold as a thanks for my help. Well, since I'm a warrior, I doubt they would like to have charitable. And it hurts the combat skills, so I guess I'll have to go the opposite. Wasn't my advice worth more than a couple of pennies? And I'm not greedy. So there, just think up, will ya? There's Moravia. Oh yeah, we can definitely beat the Lombards with that type of strength. They got no chance. Alright, let's assist them on the siege on Istria. Well, you'll be there in 26th, 24th. Oh, they're going to get the Croats, and we're also coming in. So, they're going to be following them. The Moravians uh, won't catch them in time. Well, you better hope to get here, because, huh, as I said, our first, uh, our first clash is going to happen right here in Istria. Another thing I failed to realize... I'm its only commander. I can't assign any more. And the reason for that is that that two of my commanders are council members and they can't do both jobs. And plus, they're badly skilled with Marshall, so now begs the question. Anyone of any religion that are able-bodied men don't care if you're married or not that can join the court. And somebody with good martial skill, and there's nobody. Blast. <laughs> so I guess uh, I'm the best that Bosnia has to offer uh, to assist the Croats. So very well, because there's a lot of movement up here. We, uh, again, they have a better army call than we do, and we're getting outnumbered by the minute. Oh yeah, everybody's coming, and Serbia too, so we have to hold the line. See, volley tactics. And the Croatian chief is with me on the other flank, which is already breaking down. Well, I'm staying stood firm. I have 21 Marshall and the man in the center flank, the Lord Mayor, is 13. There's 12, there's 13. Serbia is here to help us out. Perhaps I should use my extensive military knowledge to impress Vizaria. My spy master. It's a Let's talk let us talk strategy because Oh yeah, we outnumbered him. He may have the heavy infantry and the cavalry, but we have strength in numbers in light infantry. And Serbia's just losing, and so are we. I don't think Moravia's coming in too late. At least he likes me, this fine message. I told him about the military matters, and he's appreciated sharing my knowledge with him. I guess his heavy infantry and the cavalry made a difference. But here comes Moravia. <laughs> to save our ass, <laughs> and we beat him. Battle of history. I could have sworn I've heard the enemy commander, the king, uh, the Cedrus, the king himself, uh, barking orders, but as I search the plains, he is nowhere to be found. A fellow soldier finally informs me he's been spotted, cowering in a far back behind a large rock, and most disgracefully behind his troops. 
Well, he didn't expect more Ravians. My combat skills 22. His is minus 12. Oh, I can take him on. Plus, he's been crowned by a prince bishop, not a pope. Cowering. He's not craven. Ah, huh. uh, how lovely. I shall duel the king myself because I'm a better dueler than. I will chase him down for a personal duel right here, right here on the battlefield. My opponent looks nervous. His armor a little ill plating, and I briefly or I contemplate asking if he would do this on another day. A moment later, I snap out of it, letting the fresh morning air sharpen my senses. The stout man is soon on the ground, groaning in pain. Who is your heir? That's just to ensure that you'll never attack us again. So I will show no mercy. I will kill the king of Lombardy. Because everything is just in war. He's fair game. And I get increased experience in duel and battlefield. There we go. That's my second kill. The king is dead in a chaotic battlefield duel. Blood stained already. And it's kind of too bad I'm not called Kingslayer. But, but that only happens if you imprison and then execute the king, not in a duel. Thank Perun for the Moravians. But the high chief is dead. The high chief of Croatia. He died in the battle. Who killed him, by the way? Oh, the king killed him. I avenged Budimir. <laughs> I did a good thing for the Slavic people. The South Slavic people made a big difference in the war score. But we lost a lot of men compared to his. <laughs> They'll be back. <laughs> They'll be back. <laughs> but don't forget, we lost a lot of our own as well when our morale is down. Maybe we should withdraw with the Croatians. Oh, killed the king himself. <laughs> I feel a bit of rush. I could have just cut his leg off and he would have, you know, run back to his, to his maker. But no, I made him meet him. Okay, fine. We'll follow them. Clean up. Who is the new high chief of Croatia, by the way? Vesislav. Well, you're slightly... I, I don't know what I would make of you. Actually, get over here. I don't know why I'm chained up. Just besiege uh, Middenberg. Poland and Fume, and the war should be over very, very soon. I'm glad I did not die right here in Istria early on. And and due to being shattered retreat, due to being shattered retreat, we can't go out and chase the army even if we wanted to. I mean, we can't beat them here, beat them here. Oh look, it's them again. But we have the numbers. Even if they dare attack us again, we'll beat them. My first child. A daughter. I know what to name her. Only because... Bosnian sense. I'm only saying a sense of... You know, one of the national symbols. Her name shall be Lilyana. Which means Lily. In South Slavic languages. Oh gee, you're assaulting already? 77 war score. But that's only 2%. We have to beat him again if we want to actually win the whole damn thing. Apparently I can't follow... Oh wait, it's Moravians that are leading, not the Croats. Because they've lost a large number of troops and so do we. Especially during this assault, which I believe, you know, they shouldn't have done that. And the Lombards are dealing with um, att attrition. 
because you're in pagan land baby and plus it's winter no temperate winter's up there see well, fellow member Russland killed by Dobroslav the Moaner don't know who that guy was but he was one of ours a member of the Champions of Peru Nice for you to show up, Slavonia. Or unless you were with us the entire time and I didn't know it. Were you a late entry? No, not really. Unless there's something I might have missed. Okay, we can't see just here because they're going to the county. I think we're going to beat them again here in Sin. Apparently you're not going. You're going to Zagreb instead. Okay, fine. I'll follow where you're going. Make up your mind, will you? They're going to take your village. Ah, here we go. And since the movement's already locked, I, I guess I'll join in late. They'll probably kill all of them by then, by the time I get here. There they are. Since we're going to be coming into battle in about four days, at least th there is an advantage now in this battle. Not only by the numbers, but the morale. The High Chief Mormir of Moravia, the one who saved us from uh, from certain doom in Istria at uh, Pula, the Battle of Pula, which saw two rulers who fell. Budimir of Croatia and uh, the King of Lombardy. But now since I killed the King, they do not have a King of, on their ranks to motivate them better. So we have the better morale of armies. And I will be there too with my 500 Bosnians. <laughs> We're not afraid of death and neither shall I. Actually you should be afraid of death because you have no air. Uh, we beat him back. Two decisive battles, and the war is at its end. So there you have it. It lasted ex a year and probably a month because it takes time to get the surrendering terms since Croatia is the one who uh, is part of them. Songs will be sung that day of how Vladislav Tezalovich, and as you can see that little coat of arms there, let me get you a closer look, that is a dragon. Yeah, you should call Vladislav, for now, the dragon of Bosnia. Smaid od Bosne. That is a reference to this one Bosnian hero uh, from the 19th century, I think, or 18th century, I mean, his name escapes me. But, uh, but, hey, we helped out our Slavic brethren, and we're just going to come home and reinforce our troops since we took a beating in Istria. Initiated a massive recruitment drive. Good timing. I will have to disband for now. And just to make matters worse for Lombardy, now there is an outbreak of measles. Again, measles and diseases like that can't enter our realm because we're tribal. They're feudal. Because, you know, environment, cleaner air. Now hurry up and surrender to Croatia. You've already lost. What more could you want? Oh, you're going to fight one more time? Well, have at it. But watch out for the river crossing in the mountains. Don't worry, you got the high chief behind you. Alright, they called for surrender and Croatia wins. Croatia is rich with money. Oh yeah, use it well. Because that's all the king's ransom. What's left of it? And now with the, uh, we'll spend our 100 
some of prestige. I mean, they lowered the uh, the amount of prestige back then. It used to be 300 off the start for tier one buildings, but now they reduced it to 100. So first off, Gazar training ground because we need cavalry. Bosnia's first cavalry will be formed. I invite it to speed up because I don't think anything much is going to happen. And, uh, looks like the war against the rebels are you know, beating them, but there's also a peasant revolt in the Byzantine Empire. Irina, the short-tempered Pomeranian origin, and she was pregnant. You shouldn't go to duo being pregnant, you know. It's dangerous. My daughter, Luyana. Oh, you're breastfeeding her. Right. I'm sure that I, if I use the influence to hold over my tribes to increase standing, Mizzerion will come to appreciate me more. This is not a good idea, which means I don't have any options. I'm not saying it's going to continue. It's just, well, stop right there. I got nothing. Throughout the day, I caught myself grinding my teeth and being unable to focus for so long. Suddenly, I realized why I'm in a bad mood all day. I just can't seem to mind having lazy people in my presence anymore. My bohemian concubine, who is strong and lazy. I'll get her to be less lovable when I'm around. And she didn't lose it. Last it. She lost respect for me, which means there isn't much of a chance to be getting children from her. You gotta make her like you more if you want to have children. But don't worry, I have all the time in the world. I have one daughter, but no son. No heir. Oh, goody! For once I should be excited because, you know, typically it's like, oh no, someone slept her. Who's seduced her? I just typically check relations if it's lovers, but until then. Whenever that rebellion is done, we can raid the Adora. I trust her word. And I hope it's a strong son, or a quick son, or a rare combination of both. But if it ends up something worse, then... Oh boy. Constantinos the evil. That's the... Um, but, uh, oh, the Moravians are advancing again. This time they want all of Avaria. And my wife is pregnant. But hey, now you people know who's sleeping with who around here. It's Slavadislav, the killer of kings. What are you doing? Oh, you want to get this county, oddly enough. Well, what if the Moravians take it and, and you would end up stopping your war because of Slavic ruin? I'll teach him to be aggressive in uh, aggressive in combat. Should be getting more commanders. Reminds me. Okay, anybody good? No, but at least you gotta have a good combat. Brave man, okay. You're in. Even though you're a Romovan and a foreigner. Bear with me. Well, this guy, world's smartest man, <laughs> he could be a potential court position in case my old one dies. You're still with me, right? Well, don't forget he's your diviner. You'll get the notification whenever he's passed. Ah, oh, yes, the pregnancy chain event. Also, welcome to the realm. You shall be a new commander. And for God's sakes, don't assassinate me. There's already one known plot. What on earth? The king wants me killed? What did I ever do to you? Plus, you got no one to back your plot, so that makes it highly unlikely for you to assassinate me. 
minus one opinion. Again, foreign. You're Serbian. I'm Bosnian. We speak the same language. It's just... I don't get you. I'm your chancellor. <coughs> I could scarcely believe it possible. But the pregnancy has made my wife Dubrovka look even more beautiful than she already was. Whenever we're in the same room, I can hardly take my eyes off her. Well, she is attractive and she's gone to praying. I'm sure she prays to Morana because, you know. Yep, follower. There you go. Slavic goddess of death and rebirth. Associated with winter magic and dreams. Oh, I'll sacrifice some piety because I really, really love this woman. Again, the most beautiful Slavic women in the world come from Bohemia. But that just depends on who you ask. <laughs> Everyone is, is beautiful in their own way. It doesn't have to be a person born attractive. Oh, oh, you people are going to like this. But just look at this. Croatia decided to spend all that war reparation money in building a temple. Which should be done by next year. Good investment in you. I wish I had that type of money. Okay. <coughs> the flighting. Many wars have gathered in the Great Hall tonight. The dinner has just started and I already feel eager to test my mettle against one of them. It's been some time since we had a good flighting. There are plenty of candidates known for their crude manners and their sharp tongue for me to choose from. Okay. What do we got here? Mayor Vuk of Sminoriza. Chancellor of Europe, the Sand, its commander as well. He's from there, in that area that's in modern-day Albania. Or Shaman Vuk of uh, Kiparisia, which is down in Greece. And, uh, oh boy, look at that combat skill. He's a duelist. He's brave, ambitious, and a hero. Not to mention the Eurydite, which, you know, that makes him pretty smart. Yeah, and if you see that guy wearing a bear pelt, that means he's a hero, so... Now that's the one guy I would not want to talk smack with. Plus there's two Vooks. Two different Vooks. I'll even name my son Vook. Matter of fact, that's going to be the name of my first son. Either that or Dragomir the Feeble. Which he's wounded and has an infection. Apparently he's got a kill. Burn at the stake. Never mind, that's not combat related. So... I will settle nobody less than our best speaker. I mean, he has a high diplomacy skill. I mean, he's ambitious, so I'll take him on. So I will challenge Mir Vuk to the contest of dialectics. I stand up and shout a Vuk's name in the dining hall, catching many of the warriors' attention. And I challenge them to the flighting. Now I only need to decide what subject will cut deeper under Vuk's skin. Let's see. What traits does he have? He's got ambitious, so... I'm gonna try this. Um, this will hurt my prestige. I'll lose prestige, I should say. <coughs> it's effective against ambitious and proud. Hard to find somebody with great designs and pettier goals. I salt his accomplishments. He starts to take on my character, claiming that I'm a hopeless leecher. Oh, he's referring to me because I'm a lustful. Uh, Falling for any sweet face that comes around my way. Incapable of being rational whenever a woman's involved. But I'm not like that at all. And I hear a crowd snickering at me. We spar words, uh, with words for a while, but soon Book's face grows red with rage and embarrassment. Surrounded by laughter of other warriors, unable to put together a coherent response, my opponent clearly lost the fly tank. Ha ha! Apparently, I got better smack talk than you. Oh, I could uh, gain a hundred renown if I uh, or fifty, but I need renown, and I could beat him in a fight. So stop being a child, a lousy winner. Oh yeah, they call me Vladislav the Merciless. That's right, Merciless, because I killed the king. Forget the dragon of Bosnia, it's uh, it's the Merciless one. The killer of kings, Vladislav. I remember something. The rebellion's over. We can go raid now. 
Let's try to raid Deodora again before Euripus does something silly. Like go on a conquest. You're not doing anything, right? No, sir. And stay away from my wife. I see you got the seduction focus. Have you seduced anybody? One. But that's... But that's locally in their area. Alright, uh, first Gazar training grounds are built. It is good to just in, to have some gossips around a pregnant woman in order to keep her calm and distracted from the tribulations of this delicate time of her life. As to Robka's husband, it is my duty to provide her with the support she needs. She needs familiar faces around her. Ask some of my family members, um, if I even have one, <laughs> to spend time with Dubrovka and keep her mind off of any worries that might besiege her. I get prestige, and piety, and she'll be comfortable with the good health and likes me even more. He's a child of the concubine. I have a son. It shall be Vuk, because apparently it's a common name in these parts. As I said. It's just going to take a while. And plus the Byzantines are fighting over in uh, Armenia, Georgia area. Caucasus. There you go. They're far away from here, so this is a good opportunity to raid them. Even though we're losing troops because of disease. Not measles, just it's siege event related. Oh, even better, a revolt against tyranny. Well, I can't say I blame them because they call them the evil. Still born normal. Milisa? I think that's a name variant of like uh, Milica. I know a Milica. Is it just you that's rebelling? Don't you have her vessels? Okay, don't worry, you got some. Unless you look up vessels and... Now hurry up. Perhaps it is time to ask Vizzer Ryan to spend time with me. It's probably the fastest way for me to gain his trust. I'll ask him. Invite him to my longhouse and spend time with me. Hopefully I swim. I need to get him to like me even more. Because, you know, he's envious. Not to mention, he's a sadistic bastard for being an impaler. Not to mention trusting. Alright. He was happy to, um, lodge me. Now I have some time to spend time with him. I'm confident that I can convince him how we are alike and that he, uh, stands only to gain from our friendship. We could finally talk in private. Spend a few days with me. Hurry up and loot the damn place. I try my best to be counselor with Israel, but we simply couldn't come up with agreement about the intricacies of spoken language and the differences between intonation and melody. We must agree to disagree. Uh, provoked. Oh dear. Again, you're Serbian. I'm Bosnian. Maybe that's the intricacy of spoken language. There are few word differences in real life language. Here comes the money. The rumors were true. The hold of Shabnika was filled with treasure. Since I was the leader of the assault, I take the best share of the loot myself. But I will not forget to share the part of this battle prize with my brothers and sisters of the champions of Haroon for informing me of the existence of this treasure. Time to return home. Not quite. Two more holdings. There we get 50 gold and six more additionally. And Concubine is pregnant, which means, oh boy, I don't remember how I tend to... The fall of the Avars. The Avar Cognate was established in Europe in 567. After the Avars had migrated to the Carpathian Basin from the east, they crushed the uh, Jephids 
and allied with the lumbars to form a strong realm in the area. For long periods, they alternated between conflict and truce with the Eastern Roman Empire and had close dealings with the Lombard kings. Now, however, this once proud realm has fallen. This area is no longer ruled by an of our dynasty and shall once again be known by the ancient name of Pannonia. Se Trance Gloria Mundi. Mormir, you've outdone yourself. Not only you saved the South Slavic brethren of yours, but now you're the king. And of course I trust her word. I definitely trust her word. Okay, let's have to spend our money on composing a book. When I inform my council of my attention to compose a piece of literature, they nod eagerly. Naturally, my wise lord, anything would be uh, doing a people a disservice. The council member's face reddens. I brush off the compliment. What topic would you be treating? Another continues. I will be tackling the complexity of war, or something along those lines. Because I'm a man of uh, martial prin military principles, so it would be natural to be writing a martial themed book, which will take a couple of years. And since I'm 28 years old, I got a lot of years in me. So all that money's gonna go while we continue to raid the Dalmatian countryside. Did we take any prison? No? And who passed? My Chancellor. Um, I can't let that uh, Baltic man to be the uh, the god dang Chancellor because he's a commander so who's got the best diplomacy skill on I guess perhaps the Mongolian, but we're both cynical. I am cynical? Yes, we are. Son of a beeswax. <laughs> I forgot. At least you have something in common, but you're probably not going to like me more by the time I invite you in because you say you don't like me because foreigner. But I need talented people. It's hard to find one these days. Father, father! Calls Liliana, pulling my arm, pleading to play with her and her latest toy. Completely oblivious to all the important work I'm in the middle of. Sometimes this kid can be, really be insufferable. Oh dear. Uh, the kind trait. It would hurt my personal combat skill a bit, but it ups my diplomacy and the intrigue. But the crew, however, it's more intrigue, more more out there. Ah, I just hate to do this to my daughter. Not now, child. Not cruel. Not yet, at least. But cruel is a good one to have in a warrior lodge. I noticed something. What happened to my king? Severely injured. Are you a member of the warrior lodge? Something must have happened to you. Also, a uh, Guchu or Chugu? Chu? Uh, whatever, you're Chancellor of Bosnia. <laughs> so take it or leave it. Hope that guy doesn't back me. Oh, back me. Hope that guy doesn't back Voislav on that assassination plot against me. As I already have foreigners enough in this realm. You're not against me, okay? You're here to, uh, you know, you're here for wartime circumstances. At least you're gonna bolster the numbers of raiding the place. <laughs> Got the money. Terrain is key to winning battles. If I focus my studies, I believe I uh, can master the tactics of one type of terrain. What's the terrain of Bosnia? Mountains? Mountains, mountains, mountains. So, mountainous terrain, of course. Because we do better in the fighting of the mountains. That's a case if we get into a defensive war. Also, get the heck out of here. Go home and refill uh, the troop numbers. And we'll raid again 
Split will be next. Sure, it'll make the Croats mad at us, but... Look, he's feudal, you're tribal, doesn't make a difference. And I think I will spend my money on something else. I need to search for... An armor smith. I need armor. For not only personal combat skill, but... I need protection, dammit. <laughs> need all the help I can get. Plus, you may never know that the next war could be a big one. If I'm willing to fight either Croatia's or Serbia's war, or Slavonia to the lesser extent. Oh, here comes the Byzantine army to crush this tiny rebellion. Thank goodness I left there. My marshal, uh, Vlad, who, uh, has <coughs> just told me about the remarkable, uh, Armor Smith residing in Imotsky, right next door. He suggested I invite the man of my court to see his work for myself. If he manages to impress me, I could order my own custom made item. A fine idea. Come on in. Once the Armor Smith's craftsmanship has been checked by my most knowledgeable attendants to ensure the quality was sufficient, I received them in the throne room. He introduced himself as Master Kulin. Uh, and gesture towards his numerous assistants, who all carried examples of work. Does my count need have anything special in mind? I'm in need of protection. Make me as strong as a sturdy set of armor. He seems like a good one. Of course, we're not married, but he won't be around for long. Since I'm uh, since I'm the count slash chief tier, that means I will get the lowest quality. A set of armor, I see. Excellent choice, my count, says Master Coolin. And calls for the assistant cradling several sets of armor in his arms. I have a couple of examples here. One must determine w what one need and how much one is willing to pay. Though they would all serve your highness well. Craft me is something of high quality that I could bring another that I could bring with me to combat. Fifty gold. They lowered the prices of s of of smithing of uh, no, smithing to get the item. You know what I mean? It used to be higher, like. Like a hundred for low quality, five hundred for medium, and a thousand for tier three. It's my other son. Chrismia? Chrismia? I think it's supposed to be spelled Chrismia, but that's Bosnian culture thing. As I was walking towards um, Master Cohen Smithy, I could not hear the sound of progress. Instead, the sound of voices talking. I found Cohen in my court to discuss seeing different metals in their composition. All this talk is making my head spin. I'm definitely halting the progress on the work I have ordered. I ain't losing prestige, I gotta gain one. What do you think you're doing? Get back to work! Oh yes, have to spend a prestige. We need more cavalry. Sully. And uh... Usara. And since we have piety, wall and ditch. For increased uh, fourth level garrison size and a few archers. And when we get 100 prestige again, then we'll get build a cavalry in Donia Cry. Oh yes, the old wound is finally healed. No longer wounded, but now I'm scarred. Slightly more on monthly prestige, but as you can see me on the portrait, I have a scar right on the side of the face here. Unless you want to look at it close enough, here it is, right on the side of my face. Now I've upped the personal combat skill a bit more because I'm no longer wounded. And plus, don't forget the dual experience and the battlefield experience from the Battle of Istria. And I'm almost ready to level up. Now where's my armor? Cracking my knuckles. Master Cohen's main assistant finally brought me the finished set of armor I've been waiting for. It is beautiful and elegant set of armor. I am excited to see it goes beyond my original expectations. I'm sure she will serve me well. Here it is. My first artifact. Chainmail armor, a basic set of armor made up of any of many small metal rings linked together. 
of martial a bit and of the personal combat skill, which I should not be afraid of dueling of any kind now. Even the heroes. I will not be afraid of heroes. <laughs> Starting next year, we raid split. Starting in January, we'll raid split. More Mir, more Mirid has passed. It's now Pridslav. <sighs> Thank you for your service, Mormir, for the Battle of Istria. We'll never forget you. Voislav has created Bosnia, the High Cheetah of Bosnia. Well, give it to me then. I'm sure that uh, I could, if I could use the influence uh, to hold over my tribes, <coughs> to increase the static visitor and come to appreciate me more. Well, I have raiding plan. So, get a head start and put them together. We'll still be reinforced in about a month. And we'll get some more prestige by raiding that area. So I could spell a few words to them. I lose prestige, but hopefully there will be more to gain. My attempts to impress with him were not very successful. He ignored all the good rumors I spread about him. Oh, god dang it. What a waste. Now I've angered him more than I try to sway him. Yeah, you just made him worse than you already have. But that's uh, my opinion toward him, not him to me. To where you can't find yourself. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Uh, I decided to grant you the High Chiefdom of Bosnia to rec in recognition to your service and your nobility of spirit. O okay, that's my response. All that I would say is... Goody! Now stop trying to kill me! I know you've been through a lot. And he just died. Okay. I become the High Chief of Bosnia on the 25th of January, 773. And Voislav, four days later, he passed away. He died of an infected wound at the age of 38. There's the face. And now the new king, the young king, Radoslav. He doesn't think of me much because I'm a foreigner to him and state diplomacy. So we're neutral. Me and a new king. But I'm still Chancellor of Serbia. But I am High Chief of Bosnia. And I can finally, uh, rank up. You know, let's raid. The Croats won't attack me because I have the superior numbers. Grant you the permission to advance the rank. Now I'm a warrior. Which means I uh, now I could be a reaver. With leading armies and successfully sieging holdings, I have a greater chance of capturing enemies and looting artifacts from the holding. Warrior training. Uh, right click to the character portrait to give yourself a special commander trait. Uh, Summon Lodge Commander, so just get a special commander character to my court and stand together. Enable a decision on the intrigue menu for Slavic rulers to request help from the Warrior Lodge when waging a war. Also, the message might have expired. I don't know what that was about. What's Slavonia up to? want to grab that area? Odd. So no that strong arm to kill the woman apparently. Saw that on the notification. Who did you kill exactly? Boy name. Might have been a member of... And concubine is pregnant! Come on! Be joyful! She's pregnant! It's not like she slaps the side of a person to me. No, I trust her word. Also, need more cavalry. It'll form the backbone of the army soon enough. 
you want me to raid there again but currently it's looted so okay 775 remember that yeah I'll keep screwing them over go back to mineral tribal I don't want you to go up say the lords of Serbia have spoken my steward, uh, let's see, yeah, let's tell me his efforts of praising my name and deeds of great success. A small army of warriors that converge at the Vord Bosna tribe are ready to serve me. I just need to make sure someone to fight within a year, lest they become troublesome. Splendid, but I have no wars to fight. Okay, once we get done looting, maybe we should join the, the Slavonians on their little war. Make it look like we're actually doing something with these warriors. Or perhaps, uh, but to have my liege. Okay, we got done looting. Plus, I'm no longer wounded, so I'm in good condition. And you come with me with the flank. Need another ton of demand with much skill. Ah, here's one. Yuba, Marshal of the Crocodile Company. He is a man of an African faith. Huh. Now ask Serbia that I would offer to join war. I mean, chief to my box. By the way, these guys are pretty powerful, right? Oh my goodness, he's got a lot of wards. <laughs> I think taking that kingdom was the worst thing that had happened to him. I think we should help out the Slavonians instead. I mean, they're the weaker ones. Nope, can't do that. I guess. Serbia it is. Or oh, what's uh, Europe is doing? Nothing. Okay. Serbia it is. I shall help you my liege because I'm ready for greater glory. For more prestige. We'll go over there to Dennis. And get our... Uh, Oh, there's actually more room for commanders now. Okay. Yuba is in. And that's all I need. Just Karyotas and Yuba. <coughs> Alright, may you live in harmony content. I gladly accept your offer assistance in war. Let our enemies tremble. Yeah, this is where all that loot money comes in the way. Also, we have two prisoners. Dalmatian woman and child. I made some more money and I'll figure out what do we do with that money. Most likely, spend it on a market village. Or something else. <laughs> or maybe crown jewels. The cook has prepared a fine meal, but the priest uh, preached about temperance. I satisfy my hunger with bread and water. Nothing. Diet remains normal. My military exports are sure to impress him. Look, I want you to like me. I want to be your friend. Seems to be very impressed by the stories I've spread about my real military prowess. He's openly praised my bravery and military brilliance and it's in a clear show of friendship. Uh, how could he not? I'm the killer of kings. Vladislav. Pretty boy. A fine name. Maybe I should write a letter. More fright misses what he needs. hasn't responded. Oh, well, keep trying. Uh, 
All right, we got a few more prisoners. And we shall join them in battle. As soon as this war is over, that's when I'll call in that episode here. As soon as the war ends. Again, we're not called for Bosnia. This is Bosnia. That's uh, our first war as Bosnia. As we are trying to form our own identity in a way. They have the river crossing event. Well, we have a disadvantage because we're about to cross the river. But our cavalry is limited, and I'm sure they got cavalry. I mean, they're mostly of ours, rather than Moravians. But we got com talented commanders. Battle of Ox. Our ongoing struggle outside of Ox Drive has brought out the best of our military strategists. One of them is a Bosnian veteran with a penchant for innovation. He is suggesting that he retire from the battlefront and return to Verbosna to continue his work safe from flying arrows. Oh, Miroslav uh, oh, got you. Hunt. Oh, no, 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 no. You, I need you in the front line. You're a hunter. You're a hell of a talent. We need the best that Bosnia has to offer. You're a commander now. I guess I could ditch uh, Gaviotis. Alright. Follow up. Continue to lay waste to this area. Always follow the army of Slobodan. Strength in numbers. And, and Dukla is coming in too. Where a dead Jor a part of the Byzantine Empire. That's the reason why we get notifications from them. Oh, actually, it's not Moravia that holds. Pannonia anymore. It's back to Avar control, but they don't call their land Avaria anymore. Serbius formed an alliance with High Chief of Sviatovok of Galich. Also known as Galicia. That reminds me. Since we've been getting all this money. Especially from ransoming. I need some crown jewels of sorts. I took the capital. And since they can't, you know, get the Dalmatian Countess back, she's gonna be under house arrest. When, when 779 comes around and if you don't give her money, we're going to sacrifice her. I will be sure of it. During the last few days, I've overheard the same conversation again and again. Apparently, the most renowned goldsmith traveling through Bosnia, and my courtiers are proudly exciting about this work. Perhaps I should invite this man and employ his service. Nothing displays authority like fine jewelry. Davisa, the goldsmith. Davisa. He's uh, accepted my invitation. I arrived at the court a mere week later. He's presented me with some sketches of his previous work and several letters of recommendation. I'm assured of his skill. Although I ask myself just how much money I could spare for a set of crown jewels. Now, order a beautiful set of crown jewels. That's tier one, mind you. Much like the armor that I have. My scribes provided me with the latest draft of my book. Upon reading it, I'm not convinced it's moving in the right direction. Perhaps I should ask uh, uh, Vajno uh, for advice on the matter. If nothing else, he's likely to feel flattered by it. Oh boy. Might become stressed for this. I mean, if I want to become stressed, that means I would have to switch my focus to carousing to try to get rid of it. Hell, maybe carousing could be the better way. Because I want to be friend with my spy master. 
you know what? I'd rather n not anyone else get involved in this highly personal work. Okay, it hurts the personal combat skill, but once this war is over, I shall go to Karazi. Having another child soon. We have to beat the main Pan-Oinean army if you want to win the war. I'm thinking, you think we should split off from uh, Serbia and Dukla? Because I feel like we should. I mean, as I said before, greater glory when I take part in battles. So I shall have it. Let's go up there. Let's split up. A heavy box has been bought before me. Davisha has finished this work and the crown jewels are completed. I expected something probably befitting my title as High Chief of Bosnia, and I'm excited to see his handiwork. Let's see what he has accomplished. Engraved crown and ceremonial act. There, plus one on everything and a bit of monthly prestige. Same here for the ceremonial axe. Prestige is key. Bishop up uh, of uh, Negazombat was captured in the battle, is now my prisoner. A bishop, huh? An iconoclast bishop. They try to introduce iconoclast Christianity into, into Pannonian land. He will make a suitable sacrifice for Perun, in which he will be offered up to the gods in exchange of good fortune, which is personal combat, and people who are zealous will tend to view me a lot better. Get used to hearing that sound in case we get more prisoners. When casually storm around the premises is one off to do, I've come across Aldemir sitting at his desk, overburdened with work. I see this as a great opportunity to help him out and gain favor in return. But to my surprise, he not only refuses my help, but has the nerve to insult me for it. He's the Marshal of Serbia, and now I'm insulted by him. Good luck with that work of yours. It's council related. Me the Chancellor, him the Marshal. From one council member to another. Oh man, do not go up there. Ninety-four war score. Oh shit. Oh boy, they got us. Those guys who were in the peasant revolt. I know what to do. You deal it with yourselves as we're going to have to send our troops home because we're going to take a beating out of this. <coughs> Children are still being born normal. No strong, no quick, not even attractive. But don't worry, Serbia will win this. And it has. There. Look, it wasn't a disastrous camp, it's just, ah, uh, we took a bit of a speed bump and I had to get out of there because I don't want to be captured, or possibly killed, or even sacrificed. Oh no, Lombardi's at it again, and they're after Croatia. Well, in this next episode, hopefully we can save Croatia again. From the clutches of the, the Lombards. So until then, so long for now on the newest series of Tezalovich. See you next time.